Giri and Mrs. Giri. Yes, why?
This is BP Disorder. Cross Tarangini Patel.
टू लगे हुए हाई थ्री बस दबाव
longer than later, such as one to link, long until one of those, and an hour or so before, then they are going to, they can successfully compete uh, even in the Olympic scale of games. So it is a question of how you want to handle that. A couple of things about how you diagnose these various conditions. Well, you have to have a good history, occupational and history of hobbies. People engage in a lot of different <coughs> activities today, and it's important to get that. Relation of wishing to the activity. How long does that for a bleeding? I think bleedings have occurred because people have taken two big 350 milligram as, you know, aspirin with a glass of juice or water. If you take it with some amount of food, the fact is not significant and I don't think you would really find that problem. After 40 After 40 <laughs>
that was the that that brief uh, scene was the media uh, yeah. this is this is not a debut now he was in the way chicago i believe chicago was a long time he has gone back next to me and he is talking about the okay last few years his mission has been to establish a cancer hospital in burr his mission has been to establish some was part of our for for the financial aspect of this we launched it up and they helped us make six years ago it was a dream to think that a day will come when no Gujarati will have to leave Gurra or Gujarat for cardiac surgery, for modern chemotherapy, for radiation therapy. Hospitals right near the Harani Airport in Baroda. The construction, as you saw uh, later, is already has already started. That's the front part of the hospital, and the outpatient, I'm told, is going to start in October of uh, 92, actually. And uh, work is going on at full swing. Um, I might also add at this point, since uh, there seems to be some interest, that uh, they are interested in having a uh, visiting uh, faculty.
کبھی ان شاء After the after the meeting that that Rajesh I just mentioned, which was held in New York City, we essentially had two more meetings thereafter, in the dollars in dues, uh, and approximately two hundred and two of proper addresses and telephone numbers. Uh, quite a few letters has been returned because of the improper addresses. So there is the, one of the things that we are trying to correct is to collect the proper names, proper addresses of all the medical medical alumni that are present in this country. The rough estimate is that we have approximately 12 to 14 members that are here. Dr. Varona Medical Alumni, who was this side? That's all right.
is that it's not an alien problem. It's not just a cultural thing. Everybody faces peer pressure. Adults, children, whether you're black, whether you're white, you're, you're Irish, or you're South African, or anything. I mean, if you're living in this country, you're going to face peer pressure. And I know, I'm, I think, being Indian, I think we're going to get a little more of it, just because we may face, face some peer pressure as to our culture and things like that. And I can tell you, when I was in, a, when I was in junior high, so back then, I would never go to a go I would hardly go. I would never wear the jumbo in front of again. But you know, it was really instructive because you know, just about peer pressure and things. But that's, that's just one little sign of peer pressure. I mean, everybody must face it with the music and everything. Although you know, I have, I've had some friends, believe it or not, that have listened to um, listen to um, was it Chucky and Jitra sing and really like them a lot from you know, our car. They'll turn on the Indian music. This is really cool. And I'll be like, turn it off. <laughs> it is going on things like that. And the Indian culture will become something different in its saying. I think you hang around with you know, a lot of Indian kids and you keep the people of your own culture. That might as well be Indian culture, no matter whether if you don't go to Garba or you don't things like that. But nevertheless, you should have your mind at least to try those things out and you go and see what they're like. I mean, I never did any Garba in my life. About two or three years ago, I would never do any good about all. You know, and now recently, and I, I do it all the time, and I have a hard time with the steps, and, and there's always somebody bumping into me in the back, and I'm always, like, I'm always tripping over, and there's still some steps that I, mean, I have a hard time with. He said, that this, this world leads you to try to face any situation and learn something new. It's always a problem learning something new. But I say try it, you know, and, and try something new. And don't be afraid to learn something new. your friends are like, and if any of you have friends like this, I mean, I feel sorry for you, but your friends, if you have friends that are, that are saying, oh, you can't go to that garbo or hang around with us, you have to choose between the two, then those people must have never been your friends in the first place. Because the, the people like that, I mean, what are they valuing you or what you do? It must be going more for an image more than anything. And an image is exactly the problem of peer pressure. Everyone worries what their image is. Everyone worries what they're going to fit in or what's going to happen. If that problem is ever going to be resolved, we've got to have some strength. They have some integrity to believe and do what you believe. Put our, so to speak, uh, uh, concerns down or our guards down because I think our children are learning and doing better, better than we have expected. Thank you. Home during my years in medical school, and Ankur has a distinguished career in school and college, and he will finish medical school this coming uh, uh, summer, and will. Uh, enter into residency training program, he is trying to get into obstetrics and gynecology. He might change his mind after this. We are going to talk to you about uh, dating, freedom. <laughs> Don't ask me freedom for what? <laughs> and uh, eventual selection of your partner of life. Of course, you're on. My life um, might be cathartic. Maybe I'll learn something about myself, learn something about what I want to do. And then I realized, well, how am I going to put all what's going on in my head, what's going on in my parents' head, how am I going to put all down? So um, I figure I'll just take the old general route. And uh, when you guys ask some questions, maybe we can answer some particulars uh, that way. So I'll try not to be judgmental, give you a broad perspective of what's going on. Um, when we just consider the concept of dating, uh, we have to realize, I guess, especially the parents have to realize, the environment that we're all in right now. Um, dating is everywhere in Western culture, or at least some concept of dating. They may not use the word dating. Um, you see it in the movies, you see it on TV, you see it in ads and magazines, you see couples, uh, friendships, close friendships, more female, etc. <laughs> she is uh, Mrs. Pravina Mehta, a microbiologist by profession, but has many colors to her career. She, has, she loves the children of all ages. She has been associated with children her own year. She has not experienced in the views, and somehow she has succeeded. That's why she is on the panel. We are going to repeat over and over, but that only shows how important these points are. <coughs> First, I will talk on a subject of dating. Here. And age related tests <laughs> are increasing day by day. The principal objective of many parents is to save their children from making mistakes that can hurt themselves. 
We are trying, we are trying to protect our children by setting limits. We want our children to get involved in making and deciding these limits. There should be a balance between a privilege and a responsibility. For that, again the same word I'm going to use, we need communication. And one for which they are totally unprepared for. The purpose of dating is a social acquaintance and learning experience about the opposite sex. Eventually this experience may be helpful when the time comes to choose a partner for marriage. But dating can also lead to a dangerous situation, including diseases, pregnancy, and even date rape. I am aware that you are being taught and informed all these facts in the school, but one cannot emphasize enough on these matters. Please don't try to take me wrong. I'm not trying to preach here. I'm just trying to give you a parent's point of view. A background that makes us react the way we are. As a teenager, again I know you, are, you won't agree to this, but as a teenager, you are being ruled by your hormones more than your brain. That's what we think. <laughs>
I, I really don't know much. That's, that's a hard question to answer because you need some more specifics. Like, what are they writing? Well, if, 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 they, if both parents and if both the children really want to write a contract and you know, sign it and everything, that's that's really wonderful. I'd be, I wonder if, they, if it makes them feel more obligated. <laughs> I think women are the minority, but I think eventually we will become either equal or even maybe the majority. You should be exposed to various things. You should uh, start early, expose, expose everyone earlier to, you know, children should expose their parents early to, to various things, and that way there will be some understanding and some, some enjoyment. I think that's what's resented, I don't think it's resented, but pressure is probably the worst thing. I'm a colleague and, you know, they're, they're wealthy and, you know, they're going to an Ivy League school and they're going to be a doctor and they're going to be a preferable mate. And, I mean, there's there's no harm in introducing people. I mean, I've met a lot of new people here and it's been a lot of fun. But I think that if there were some sort of ulterior motive behind introducing all these new people, then I would definitely resent that. Because I, I think that my parents have given me enough... Um, encouragement and enough um, of a value system so that I can judge people for who they are and I can make that decision. Whether they're American or Indian or Jewish or whatnot. And um, it's just, it's important to be able to communicate. And the parents, I think the most important thing is they have to be open minded to other people that are not Indian or not from the same family. Because there are other nice people that aren't raised in your house and you just have to be communicative you know, with that food. Uh, okay, I want to come in from a guy. Ashish, Mehta, or Rajan Bhatt? Come on, guys, where are you? And um, she was a decent quality and I liked her. Um, I would hope my parents would agree with me also. But my parents didn't agree with me. Um, but I believe that she was all right for me. Um, actually, I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't develop that sense of, uh, you know, resentment in your mind because then your reactions are going to be too bad, and that's not that's that's going to be counterproductive. Thanks yeah. to that kind of thing, I think this would have a safe uh, sense to practice because I see in my practice, like for example, last week I see two teenagers. They come for the blood test for HIV, and because the girlfriend is having AIDS. People in U.S. society, they look upon the Asian Americans as the role models. <coughs> Asian American families are looked upon as role models. Dr. Barai. Many of the children have commented here about the impositions or other restrictions, about the fact that money should not be the only criteria, degree in medicine and engineering should not be the only criteria, and I applaud you for that. But by the same token, remember, whatever happens in the U.S. society should not be taken as the criteria that you have to follow. You don't always have to follow what the American society does. When the values are right...
are now going to reach four years. And so I would say, oh my God, what a long pregnancy. And I said, well, associations are different animals. So, anyway, it gives me great pleasure that something we started seriously on four years ago in 87 and the city has come to fruition and uh, become the Confucianist uh, Association. And we come to one of my main tasks, the introduction of the table. I'll start from the front end and uh, Dr. Vipul Mankar, Dr. Uh, Aparna Mankar, Dr. Hai, Dr. Member who oh, has uh, opted to sit on the children on the table. Uh, one of the side tables is uh, Dr. Bharat Hai, Dr. Kamlesh Desam, and I want to guess. Then there's Dr. Our Chief Guest of the evening, Dr. so many people to come here and he did not come. <coughs> Dr. Dixit was a fellow in our unit. Dr. A enters in the ward at 10.30. He's a tall, lanky, tall, lanky fellow in his 50s. He's more English man than a real English man. He wears a double-breasted Gabardin suit, made in UK. He has a large sideburns, starch collar, chin up, chewing little somebody in the mouth. But I wanted to walk how he walked. In fact, I bought this suit just for this walk. <laughs> There is always one method, my well, ward number 4 was upstairs, ward number 3 was downstairs. There is always one method, keeping an eye, do like a wash dog of a pirate ship. Sai Wale! Sai Wale! Around the side, there are some Sauti Wala Gujaratis always talking around. Everybody gives little salams to Sai. The mentor will say, Baju kasal, baju kasal, Sai wala jagalo. <laughs> Our Sai will ignore very cunningly all the salams. Well, some of the teachers had this, I would say less than 10% of the teachers had this sadistic attitude. <laughs> <laughs> your dissertation even though you are ready for post-graduation. Well, they had one advantage. They did not have a recertification exam. <laughs> even the hand physics, they will try to pop up in the bed. All those gachia and thai whiskey packets are put in a roach laden cupboards. And suddenly Sai sees somebody taking clinic. Dr. Dixit was taking clinic. The lion thought that his territory was totally invaded. Ladies and gentlemen, those days teaching was considered menace. Sai was curious and he asked, Are we? Ah, but that's greater than Kim Begal's hair chair. Next slide, there is always one robot nurse whose main function was to wear red belt, white cap, and hold the writing pad. Behind the nurse is that pirate watchdog mentor. Okay. So I will guard my feet. You there! 
Dipshit! What are you doing? Dipshit was shaking very little. Utter humiliation in presence of all those 30 people. Sir, I was teaching Hutchison Hunter. Hunter, clinical science. What is this nonsense? If you start teaching today, tomorrow the nurse will start teaching. And day after tomorrow, even medicine will take clinic. <laughs> then he turns in a very dramatic fashion and he asks even the nurse, I get on who kale to make clinic lesson. And you know, both of them replied, Oh, I told him that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I was a silent witness. I was also a witness in another incident. When Syed saw one patient in 20 seconds, Monday, medical pain unit outpatient. So Sai ordered some blood tests, something like BUN. Let me tell you, BUN was considered an esoteric test those days. <laughs> From patients all over Maka of Rapoto. So patients say, but Sai, this is Rapoto, I will take a patient to take a photo. Take a photo in the studio. I think he was right. Sai kept quiet. 
Sahib started the round. First session was withdrawn by Nipachi Bhaskar, he said. After that, there were two anemia patients. Usual diagnosis of SSG hospital, anemia secondary to ankylostomiasis. Anki anemia, you international diagnosis must be locked. Usual missed very long route of Tata Afri, missed very treatment. That worked like a charm. Not only it was anti anemic, I think it was aphrodisiac. <laughs> the patient started dating Carolyn versus. That was the first time I knew that ferrous sulfate can bind RDS with Dravidians. <laughs> I know because these people, these couples, were going to lonely matinee shows of lonely movie theaters. Don't ask me how I knew. <laughs> the third patient was some Jan Sanghi Kalyakar. He had a case with Jopi. Huge ascites. In fact, huge ascites with all case uniform and a microphone in his hand. This made him to win elections in the, in the municipal corporation. But then he was starting to be corrupted. He wanted this ascites to be removed. Or would charge among the party of that. As soon as he gave salute to Sai, Sai had one very important trait. VIP patients immediate treatment. Especially if he Marathi is a Marathi speaking. Sakharam Kasakai Barai. So like the Jabu Gari Nagyu. And a paid for the because it's a photo of Pani Barra. <laughs> so he turned to Mehta and he said, Mehta, I'm a sure what you are doing. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. What do you do in the afternoon? He was a very good father. 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 Why is that his daughter? So Mehta, I hope you do. Sir, he has nothing else to do. Don't watch it. Then we will have it. Abhi ya, Ramana Vat, Kapa 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 Kapa. Mehta, what do you do in the afternoon? Mehta, I forgot all of this. Nothing, sir. You do nothing in the afternoon? No, sir, nothing. So, but she tell me, do you scratch your throat down? Don't you get tired of the damn thing? He was a rich private patient of Dr. A. Diagnosis now we can call COPD. That time we used to call only one diagnosis, emphysema. Then I was in the marina, I was in the I became registered. Then I became registered in Spitzel Bay because he was so called rich and famous. So he gave me a box of ice halwa, which was my very favorite. No one loves me, they were on the Mumbai world. So he gave me this box of ice. Richard Bates asked me, my mother was in the BJP current shape, because Richard Bates used to keep center boards of Playboy magazine. So all the house physicians and everybody used to keep VIP to Richard Bates. If you needed oxygen cylinder, right away, sir. We will give it. I am a mother of Mitchell Bates. Our patients tried to come later. Visit big pata pata kari na pire, upar di patla ma jode bonk pana pata. As soon as Vichal we will enter to Sayed Bangla, Sayed will come to greet him. Vichal we can patla ya chho? Sir, pet chet kara wa ya chho? Sir, khula sin jawad na hai. Well, this was the trademark of Vichal Pemis. A khula sin na jawad hai ni? तो मानस और राजपाट आती है। इतना शहीद लोगों को आता है। इतने साये भी करो। हाँ तब तो सिर्फ ये एक ना मांगो सोचे। Well साये did some rituals, something like putting his hand on his belly, एक सांस वाप ले रहा है मगर मार ना क्यों? सांस ही गड़ा भी। हर ये बढ़ने चेक करें। Tickle his inguinal areas. कशु समझना पड़े तो गलत प्रश्न माफी हो अभी चले एक अक्सर सलाह आती है एवं करो अपने स्टूल और ओवरवाइज सिस्टम पस्त कर लेंगे स्टैंडर्ड फर्मर बायेशा 
Ane, even as a professor, he was taking old-fashioned attendance by shouting our names. Our memory led me my master Vanishek. Where are such dedicated teachers? He used to take us to a field trip to inspect the old
पार्टी में वॉल स्ट्रीट में आप डाउ जोन्स की बात कर एक बीजा ने कवर करने केन्द्र में चौपड़ चौपड़ी मारी पड़े आप तो शुक्रवार दूंगा तार बजी शुक्रवार मुद्दा ने भरी आपीश
बात ही करो